Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel where we talk all things Marvel and pop culture. So be sure be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, share it to at least three people you know if you are new. And be sure to join my dis um Discord in the link in description where we talk all things Marvel and we chat. We chat it up, uh, we get to talk. So and follow me on all my socials. So shout out to the Cosmic Wonder. He's got another video today and some big news from Kevin Feige today. So shout out to the Cosmic Wonder. Y'all go sub to him. Check him out. Marvel Studios Phase 5 through 6 Saga announcement by, teased by Kevin Feige. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's get into this video, man. I'm pumped. I'm getting excited. D23 in September, my birth month. It's about to be fire. 3, 2, 1. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and today we have some very exciting news concerning the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and this is actually coming from Kevin Feige, the, the president of Marvel himself. Studios himself. Over the past couple of weeks, we have been speculating here on the channel that Marvel Studios is about to reveal a lot about their next phase, and it looks like we were right on the money there. As Kevin Feige has told us in a recent interview that phase four is almost at an end and the next phase is about to begin, and Kevin Feige even says that we're going to get a little bit more of a glimpse into this new saga and going to be able to see a tiny bit of where it's actually heading. So from Iron Man 1 leading all the way up to Spider-Man, Spider-Man Far From Home, that was the Infinity Saga. Obviously, because it focused around the Infinity Stones. But what is this next saga focusing around right now? There hasn't really been too many common themes between all of the different Disney Plus shows and the movies, but I do believe we do know where this saga is going. I believe we know what's going to be revealed as the big picture <laughs> of this next saga and when it's going to happen. And we're going to break it all down in this video, so if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. So, first off, Let's start off with the quote from Kevin Feige talking about how phase four is about done and getting a glimpse and a reveal into the next phase and this entire saga in general. This was in an interview with Games Radar, and Kevin Feige says that phase five is almost here. In the interview, when talking about the future, he said, as we're nearing the end of phase four, I think people will start to see where this next saga is going. I think there have been many clues already that are at least apparent to me of where this whole saga is going but we'll be a little more direct about that in the coming months to set a plan so audiences who want to see the bigger picture can see a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more of the roadmap. This is incredible news, especially for those people who say that Marvel Studios isn't really connecting right now. There's not much connectivity oh, and we can't really see there. where it's going. Well, it's almost it's like there. Kevin Feige has been on the internet and has heard all of these complaints. And now he's saying, don't worry, all is about to be revealed and you'll get a pretty good idea of where everything is going pretty soon. Now, as I mentioned, I believe we know where everything is kind of heading to, but at the same time, it would be really cool if Marvel threw us a curveball and kind of included some projects that we really weren't expecting that just oh, come you know way out of left be field. Because we know a lot of exciting projects are you know, coming up, you know like it. the Thunderbolts, the Fantastic Four, the Young Avengers are being set up in the MCU right now, but it would be really cool if he announced something that we just really weren't expecting, which might happen, but let's break down what he said. The first thing that he said is phase four is almost at an end. Now, this is kind of funny to me, not because of what he said, but because of what people have been thinking. In my videos, when I talk about a lot of the upcoming projects, I mentioned that a lot of these well-known projects that have already been announced are going to be Phase 5, but people have been saying they are Phase 4. That is not the case. Keep in mind, Kevin Feige revealed the entire Phase 4 slate at 2019, and it ends with Thor Love and Thunder. Yes, Marvel Studios announced a lot more after that, but they never said that it was a part of Phase 4, but they also didn't say it was a part of Phase 5 so I understand. But if you keep that in mind, then we actually know a lot about Phase 5. Blade, Captain Marvel 2, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and The Fantastic Four. These are most likely our Phase 5 yeah. movies. Hopefully some of them do bleed a little bit into Phase 4, even though Marvel's Phase 4 lineup did end with Thor Love and Thunder. Hopefully they include a little bit more into Phase 4. That way we have more surprises coming for Phase 5. But even if we do know a decent amount about Phase 5, here's why it's still really, really exciting that Marvel Studios is actually going to make an 
announcement soon. Now, one is that there are always secret projects with Marvel. Keep in mind, during Phase 4, we knew a decent amount about what was to come, but they still hit us with some projects that we didn't expect, which was really nice. But two, according to Kevin Feige, there's going to be a lot of clarity offered to us. As far as the direction of where everything is going, that's where Marvel Studios is going to give us some new information. Now, Kevin Feige says that there have been many clues already that have been very apparent to him of where the saga is going. And I think a lot of us, especially if you follow my channel, have all been thinking kind of the same thing of where the MCU is going. And I have specifically talked about many times how the MCU is now splitting into different categories. We have the cosmic side, which is movies like Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor Love and Thunder, Captain Marvel 2. You might even consider Miss Marvel a part of that because she seems to have cosmic powers. You have the dark side, the magical side, which is WandaVision, the Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, the Agatha Harkness series coming up, which we'll probably get more information about that pretty soon. And then you have the grounded side of the MCU, which is sort of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the Thunderbolts when they finally come, the Hawkeye Show, and Black Widow, movies like those. And then we have this new godly side of the MCU with the Eternals, with Moon Knight, and Thor Love and Thunder is apparently going to be a pretty big godly movie. And what I mean by that, and most people know by now, is that Thor Love and Thunder has been revealed to be sort of a detective movie. Thor and Jane Foster's The Mighty Thor, along with the rest of their crew, are going to be going across the universe trying to discover who is killing all of these different types of gods. So they're going to introduce more than one different type of god. Thor and Odin are Norse gods, but we know we're going to be seeing Zeus in this movie, who is a Greek god. In Moon Knight, we got Egyptian gods, so who knows what else we'll see in this movie. Now, ultimately, I think if you combine all of these different segments of the MCU and think about Loki, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, it seems like we are in the multiversal saga, especially with the post-credit of Multiverse of Madness telling us that Doctor Strange is going to, yet again, dive more into the multiverse and incursions. And I think these are the hints that Kevin Feige is talking about, because like I've been saying for probably over a couple of years now, this is all going to lead secret to and, Secret Wars. Uh, in the comics, Incursion is secret actually wars. how Secret Wars starts. And now we've literally heard about Incursion from Mr. Fantastic himself, who in the comics actually plays a major, major role. Now, of course, that wasn't our main MCU Earth 616 Mr. Fantastic, but I'm hoping that they actually reveal pretty soon that he is indeed going going to be playing the main one, John Krasinski. And I think these things are what's going to be announced, and I think they're going to be announced at Disney's oh. D23 Expo. Kevin Feige said we'll be a little more direct about that in the coming months. Well, Disney Plus Day and Disney's D23 Expo are both in September. That's only Day a few months away, away, but also San Diego Comic-Con is coming up as well, even though rumor has it that Marvel Studios won't actually have a panel or a hall, but they'll have a slight presence there. However, the reason for that is because they plan to reveal a lot at D23 and Disney Plus Day. So for those who are wondering day. about the future of the MCU, where it's going, how it's all going to be connected, you only have to wait a few months. And don't forget that Kevin Feige could have also been talking about a specific movie or post credit scene that could be shown in, say, Thor Love or Thunder or Miss Marvel. Because don't forget, they revealed Thanos in a post credit scene, so they that. could reveal Galactus or John Krasinski as their main Mr. Fantastic or anything really big they could yeah. reveal in a post credit scene. So hopefully, we get a little bit of information through other movies and projects That'd before be September, but look out for September because it looks like some really, really big announcements about the future of the MCU are coming from Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige himself. And of course, I'll be covering the entire thing and telling you everything you need to know. So if you don't want to miss out on any of that news, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Don't forget to give the video a like and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. Yo, great video, Cosmic Wonder. Shout out to him. Y'all go sub to him and his channel. Man, where do I begin? Where are we again? I don't want to come in there with expectations of wanting something. Just definitely, yes, we're going to get this and we're going to get that. But really, 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 what I want to take away from D23 in September, my birth month. This is what, Disney, Marvel, if you're listening, this is what I want, okay? No pressure. Fantastic forecasting. Preferably John Krasinski as Reed Richards, okay? I want, I want to see, I want to see a Scarlet Witch solo movie announcement. Get updated about the Scarlet Witch, what's happening with her. Bring out Elizabeth Olsen, tell her she's coming back for a solo movie. 
And that's really, and I'm uh, Secret Wars teased. I, I, don't, I don't need nothing else. Just a little tease of Secret Wars. That's all I need. And the mutants. Expand upon the mutants that you left us on the cliffhanger at um, San Diego Comic Con in 2019. Give us a little bit more of the mutants. So that's all I want to see. You guys let me know what you want at D23 Expo that weekend. Or yeah, I think it's that weekend. In September, it's my birth month. I hope it's a great month to be a Marvel fan. And it sounds like it's going to be a great month to be a Marvel fan. So be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below, share it to at least three people you know. If you're new, join my Discord in the link in the description. Let's talk all things Marvel and chat together. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to, I don't know, be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, share it to at least three people you know. If you're new, till next time, peace and love. We out.